Hello and welcome back to my slime ranger, slime ranger, no, slime ranger, let's play series where in this episode we are starting, I believe from where we left off of the last, last episode, I am actually not sure, I haven't played this for, um, for a little while, but all I know is that we have fifth, just about 1600 um, new bucks and we should soon be able to unlock one of those areas over there and I gotta say, Either there's something wrong with this water, or gravity is not very high in this place. <laughs> so, um, yes, let's collect stuff and let's feed our animals here, or slimes. Looks like they don't have any food. So, yes, let's fix that. We have heartbeats growing, so that's fine. Um, do we have any cube berries available? No. Alright, so... Feeding done. We don't have any food for them. <laughs> so I guess that will have to wait. Um, let me just take a look here at what's raising in money. Not a fit. So I think it's fine that we hold off on selling anything for now. But I will be taking one of these quests, I think. And uh, yeah, see what, what we got. Also, we looks like we got some new star mail. Let's take a look at what that is before we continue. This one is from Mochi Miles. Well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles, as in Satsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plot market like I do. Day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my request plots that I know will be making that I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out the great Emoji Miles in their conquest of the Far Far Range. Later Tata. Really. We will not even get second place, we'll get first place. Ha, <laughs> take that. So I'm guessing that is this one right here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I need those plots post haste, whatever that means. Okay, I don't know what that means either. I believe we got all of that, to be honest with you. No, we don't actually. Okay. Well, how many ping ones did you need? Four. Hmm. All right then. You got that. Um. I need stuff. I need money. <laughs> I need money. But it is growing. Can we upgrade this in any way? Lucid soil contains compass from the moss blanket and minerals from the indigo quarry. Makes crops always yield their maximum harvest. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Nothing to make it faster though. But I guess we can feed them something else than just the heartbeats. Oh, wait a second. Wait just a moment. We got some stuff there. Ah, perfect. Just not quite enough. Let's drop some stuff in there for them to eat. Not that it looks like they're hungry. Oh. I think we got some eating going. Yes, we do. Alright. Give me those two. Alright, perfect. So for that, we'll get a bunch of fruit. We'll get some carrots. Six hens. Sorry, chickens. And some coins. Yay! Let's get it all. I think we have enough now to actually unlock one of the areas. Which wouldn't be that bad. There we go. I need to do some research in on how to um, take care of the chickens here. Because I'm not too sure what this is. Spring grass attracts scuttle bugs that chickens just love to eat. Which... With their bellies full, hens will produce eggs twice as fast. Okay. Vitamizer. The very latest in advanced poultry poultry tech, the Vitamizer batches the chickens in vital rays, allowing them to grow into healthy hens and roost rows twice as fast. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, Pogo fruits, I don't really need that right now. I'll leave that here. And the carrots will be thrown away in the corner here, since I don't really need those at this point in time. So, 
I believe we have enough money now, but not to unlock this area, as that is 10,000 round... Um, around 10,000 new bucks. So that is way too much. Way, way too much, too much for us. But we got an area over there, and if you take a look at the map, you will see that it opens up this area over here, which I would really, really, really love. We also have this area over here, the cave area. Um, but I would like this area first, I think. So, you know what? I want to see this at daytime, not at night time. Let's go ahead, sleep. Sleep until morning. And then, take a look at this new unlocked area here. So, it's still a little bit dark. So, in the meantime, we'll get these cube berries here and take them over to our slimes over here. Because they must be starving now, I think. So let's make sure they get some food. Just like that. Listen to them munching away. Let's collect all that stuff. To activate that again. And we got 20, 28. Not bad. Alright. These guys are starving. So hopefully the beet roots are ready. Yes, they are. Alright. Hopefully I have enough beet roots for these guys. Let's throw all that in there. Just like that. Get, get them their favorite food. Boom. These chickens are very loud. <laughs> but the game is loud in general. Uh, there we go. Get everything in there. Doesn't look like they like to eat these poker fruits. But um... We gotta keep going. Not bad, not bad. Did the price rise for any of these? Yes, they did. But I, I want to leave that board for a little bit. Because we want to have the highest price available. So. Let's go ahead and unlock this area. I really hope I have enough now. Um, so, ranch expansion. The overgrowth. The ranch's very own wild side. Sounds very interesting. Let's purchase. All right, well, let's head into our new area. I don't know if there will be slimes here or if there will just be um, things. What is this? Looks like some sort of teleportation device to a city or the ranch, I don't know. But um, let's head over here. And there are no slimes, but we have New areas, we can get more corals, more farms. We have chickens that are running around wild. That's perfect. What's over here then? This seems to maybe lead around to the other side here. All the way over here. That would be cool. I really want to check that out. I think I might do that today. But first, let's check out proper our new farm or ranch area. So there was a one of those, ah, here it is. I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They just seem to like hanging around around those things. All right, so we got some stuff over here. It seems like these are teleportation things. I don't know. But, um... Don't know what that will do. Oh, looks like we got another section here, actually. What is this? The docks. Deep, deep down in the great blue sea, I saw a thousand slimes smiling at me. Okay, so that's 5,000 to get to the docks, which I don't know will, what will be down there. I'm assuming this over here. Well, that's really cool. We can um, we can now come here, so that's awesome. Because I was running, I was running low on um, areas over there to farm on and well get slimes on. I guess that over there area over there would make a great place for the farms or to move the slimes over to that area, so we can remain this area for the farm. But since that area is more green and stuff, I guess this would make 
It would make greater sense to move it over there. I don't know when, maybe it's silos here. I have no idea. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. How's our chickens doing? Not bad, not bad. Alright, so in the last episode, we got the slime key, which unlocks one of the ancient doors. Um, okay, just checking. Um, the ancient doors allows for to or opens up a new area in the map so for example i know there is one hmm, i know there is one but i don't know what's you know what i need some food here i need some food with me because i want to enter a area which is a little bit dangerous not gonna lie so i would like to bring some food with me because the area that I'm going in will contain the angry slimes and they are that way because they haven't eaten yet so if you want to neutralize them or make them happy again you need food oh great hmm. you know what I'll take the food and I'll save the whoa nope don't want to go that way <laughs> don't want to go that way I will let me stand here. There we go. I want to go into that cave because I want to see what's on the other side. I'm assuming it's one of those stores. We'll have to see. Alright, got some more carrots here. Let's take a look and see what will happen. Yes, it's a bit dangerous in here. Turn on my flashlight. Get some... Eat. And... He's all good. There we go. Give me this back. And this. And let's see what's over here. I haven't really been in this cave much. Can't take the crystals. Ah, I knew it. Knew it would lead to somewhere. So I could have unlocked this area over here. But I could also unlock this area here, which I think I want to do. Even though it leads to a cave. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go this way. Alright, we got some mail received from Bob and the 7-something seven, seven corporation. Mine, all mine, I don't know what that means. Indigo Quarry. All that remains of a mining project that quickly went bust. I'm going to tread a little lightly because I have no idea what's at this area. I'm expecting new slimes. Let's see what um, this guy has to say. I was always happiest when I was my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty. Mostly. So I figured that life on the far far range would suit me just as well. And well wouldn't you just know it? I came from this way and the first person I see well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quite wasn't good anymore. I liked her. I liked her laugh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we got... Ooh, that's the... the. I don't know what that slime is called, but let's... Let's get him. Boom slime. Careful, these slimes have known to explode. <laughs> okay. Let me just... Uh, F1. Slimes. Favorite, briar hen. Dying meat. Hmm. But we can't cross feed him with any of these. Um. Rancher risks boom slimes are constantly building toward an inevitable explosion, making them quite hazardous to rangers. In addition to those explosions causing bodily harm, they also have the capacity to send all nearby, nearby slimes flying into the air, making them a hard slime to coral. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep this guy for now, because you never know what will happen. Whoa, okay, came off course there. Let's get up, up, and up here, where I believe I came from. Okay, yes, I came from over here. So there's nothing really over there. There's a cave entrance over here, though. 
I'm not that fond of caves, though. But let's see. Oh boy, it grows really dark in here. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's one of the parts parts thingies. I don't know what that is. But these are one of the very big slimes that will give us a key eventually. What does that say? Press E to activate. Oh! That's a huge area here. And what is this? I I, in a way, I don't like the look of this. Oh, leads to the open. More boom slimes. Okay. Well then. You know what? Let's grab some of these. Ow. Let's grab some of these boom slimes because I think I want them. I don't know what their value is in the market, their plots, but um, there's only one way to find out, right? Just don't know who to combine them with. Huh. There's another cave over here. I really want to see what this is. Because that seems very interesting. Ooh. Ooh, what are those? Crystal slime. Veggies. Okay, that's something we can actually do. Favorite odd onion. Um, the sharp crystals on the crystal slime ground will cause a great deal if, of harm if touched. Um, in the environment around them. Okay. Well, let's get some of those. A little dangerous, but we'll take them. I can live with it. Okay, so those... Yeah, give harm, but they should shatter with water. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Oh, that one looks so cool. That one looks really, really cool. Ow. Oh boy. <laughs> I think we're gonna make that combination. Ow. Watch it. Oh man. I gotta say, this game is actually really good. I gotta admit it. Yeah, I think we'll make that combination with the Boom Slime and the Crystal Slimes. Because they're pretty awesome. Let's move on here and see where we're gonna land. Alright, so just out here, where we was before. Right over there we were. And another bridge. Hmm. You know what? I don't think we need the cube berry. Okay, I was afraid it was doing something bad. It's not. Wait a second, what's that? What's this guy? Puddle slime? Diet water. Hmm. Puddle slimes are a rare species of slime that will live in fresh water pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat veg fruits, veggies, or meat like the other slimes. Or most other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of the pool. Puddle slimes need fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left in any other surface for too long. Well, those are really cool. I want those. Don't know if we will be able to put them somewhere specific, but I'll be sure to try and get them there. Okay. And what's then over here? Oh, that area is... What are those green guys? <laughs> I'm too excited for this. Okay. Oh boy. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, um... Okay. You, you know what? Get this out of here. I need to fetch one of these guys. Red slime. Uh, diet veggies. Its radiance is so lovely it makes you sick. Wow. Okay. Uh, rancher risks. A red slime's radioactive aura can reduce rat poisoning in a rancher if they remain within it for too long. Ranchers are advised to monitor their red exposure levels when handling these green globs of gamma goo, as extended exposure can cause seriously bodily harm. 
or worse. Oh boy, stay away from me. I'm not sure I want these guys on me. I'm not sure if I want to go that far. Um, okay. Well, we got a bad guy here. Oh no. Okay. Close one. But well, that's what happens when you've got so many different slimes at one spot. Hmm. What happens if I go into it? Oh, it shows the radio radioactiveness. Okay. Well, we don't want that. What do we have here? Another one of those big slimes, huh? Alright. Well then. Okay. And what do we got over here? Oh boy, stay away. Danger, it says. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh no, they ate all of them. No, leave them alone. Or not. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Alright, well that was interesting. I would really like to go through that area to the other side, but I think it would just lead to a dead end anyways. And what does that mean? Over here. Some sort of teleportation back to home. Yeah. You know what? I'm going through that area. I don't care. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> help. Ooh, what's that? Odd onion. I'm taking that. Okay, where does this lead to? Some sort of area over here. Okay, I'm just trying to find my way back at this point. Right or left? Left will lead us to where we came from. Oh boy. This is not where we came from. <laughs> uh, we came from this place. We went in here. Hmm. Well, that guy very is very radioactive. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to make something that will make us unradioactive. Okay. Well, I'm lost at this point. I'm not sure where to go actually. I mean, I can't backtrack, but that's not as fun. Hmm. Well, we're getting a lot of exploration done, let's say, let's just say that. Well, to me, it looks like we can teleport back home over here if we just get a little bit further this way. Hmm. So like over here. Oh, there's a box. Nothing very interesting there. Well, I can climb these crystals here. Poten potentially jumping over it all. Oh, well, what's this? What is this area? Huh. I love this place. <laughs> nice. Alright, I really enjoyed this journey. And we got three new sorts of slimes. Actually, we found four new sorts of slimes. Where does this lead? Hmm. Go to another area. Huh. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, we've been here. Or oh, we haven't been here, sorry. But we know these slimes. And they look amazing. Where does this lead? Another door. We need another slime key to unlock this area over here. Which would be very cool. 
I don't know how you get to this area, even though it's unlocked. So I'm not sure about that. Let me know down in the comments below if you know how to get to that place. But, um, man, I like this area and I love this game. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head home. Um, I guess start a plot with these odd onions just before we end this episode. And we'll get to uh, do something with these slimes in the future. Let's teleport home. Boom. Nice. Okay, so here we can see the... F oh, those? They give a lot of stuff for these plots here. Very impressive. I should probably get that green slime as well. But they're cool. They're very cool. You know what? Let's just really quickly before we end. Real quick get over here. And start a new area here. And oh, I don't even have enough enough money to get one. Okay, you know what? We'll do all that in the next episode. We got the odd onions. We got three different new types of slimes. And yeah, we'll have to see how we will be able to use all these. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment as yet with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Remember to join my Discord server, link down below. And follow me on Twitter and Twitch, link down below as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day, or night, depending. <laughs> Alright, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.